Okay, you guys, welcome to our Tuesday night team call. I am really super excited because we have a guest host um, who's going to be speaking to us. Her name is Mandy, and I'm going to butcher her last name, Lemur. Limer. Limer. I look like Lemur, though. <laughs> I was getting close. <laughs> I met Mandy actually on Instagram. Um, I started following her before she had started coaching, actually, and I was just like, oh my gosh, this girl is so inspiring. Her uh, just just her whole story and everything she would share. I was just like, Oh, I want my Instagram to be like her. It's like, she's just, she knows what she's doing. And so I just always would go to her site and follow her and just like see what she was doing. And then also get like highly motivated by like her journey and everything she was doing. And I think I started following you like right before you were like in bridal prep is actually when I think I started following you. So she was like in, hardcore bridal prep and I was just I love weddings and stuff too so it was like feeding another addiction of mine or I was like yes I want to hear all about your wedding and live like <laughs> through you because <laughs> I wasn't getting married um but then I saw that she became a coach and I got even more excited um because I was like oh I can just like pick her brain even more so I grew some balls and messaged her and I was like look I stalk you on Instagram would you come over and speak to my team about how you're utilizing Instagram to share your journey and to um, um, how you are sharing sharing your journey and using it to build your business and so graciously she said she would um, but a little bit about Mandy too is that she started coaching in what is it may of 2014 she is a diamond coach and just for you guys to understand mandy has a following of like 26 or 27 thousand followers on instagram so she definitely knows what she's doing but not only does she have like a huge following you have like crazy engagement like people are like they're stalking her like i stalked her basically <laughs> is what's going on <laughs> they love her so, Mandy, I don't want to take up any more. I want to have you go ahead and share a little bit of you and school us on Instagram. I need to get my notepad. <laughs> well, thank you so much for that um, introduction. For those of you who are like adamant note takers, I'm going to talk super fast. So, if you want like the PowerPoint presentation that I'll share, just like let me know or send your emails. Um, to Blair or me and like we will get you going and you can have that presentation. So I'm a super fast talker, so I apologize <laughs> now um, for that, but I just wanna share with y'all um, the content. I think it's really funny that, um, that Blair started following me whenever I was in that bridal prep because the reason I became a coach was a couple months after getting um, married, I found out that the guy that I married wasn't who he said he was. And I had to, to leave um, with $3 to my name. And I just had to dig into coaching because that was the only thing that was going to make me money. That was the only thing that I had. I was in grad school working on my PhD and trying to get school and teaching. And um, my assistantship would only like pay for very, very little. So I had like no option but to really dig deep into coaching to try to make money out of it. Um, I was approached about coaching for 18 months um, via Instagram before I ever said yes. So those seeds that you're planting, they may take 18 months to bloom. <laughs> but I'm just going to go ahead and share with y'all um, my, my PowerPoint presentation. So um, give me a thumbs up if you can see it. Can y'all see it? Okay, cool. Thank y'all. So um, this is 20,000 followers. I currently have 27,000 um, followers, but back in the day, they used to give you this pretty picture when you logged on, and now they don't, So, but I wanted to keep the pretty picture for the presentation. <laughs> so to jump right in, I'm sure any training that you've been to via social media, they talk about your brand. What is your brand? What are those five things that you want to be known for? Um, is it body positivity? Is it being a fit mom? Is it 
you know, faith and fitness? Is it being a foodie? What are those five things you want to be known for? Because on Instagram, it is super, super, super important that you are predictable. That is why people are following you. That's why they want to come. And when they wake up in the morning, they want to go to your profile because they want to see the motivation. They want to see what food they should be eating. They want motivation to work out. They want, you know, whatever they're following you for, that's what they want to see. So it's important that you, you know, your brand, um, some of these top tips you probably already know, but I just have to just share them just in case you don't know. I don't ever want to assume that you just know something. Um, number one, make sure that your account is public. Um, sometimes people want to be private because they have kids and they don't want, you know, strangers seeing pictures of their kids and that's understandable. But what happens if, if somebody is like, keep seeing the 21 day fix. And so they start to hashtag, they come across your photo and they're like, Oh my gosh, this girl is like super inspiring. Like she's killing that workout. She's dripping in sweat. She burned 300 calories. Like I want to be like her. And then they go to your account and they're like, Oh, she's private. I don't know if she's approachable. I don't know. And so they don't follow you. They don't do anything because you are um, private. So if you are somebody that doesn't want to post pictures of your kids and you have it private, create a different fitness Facebook. <laughs> Instagram account, not Facebook. This is Instagram. <laughs> um, the next two things I'm going to talk about are going to be huge time savers for you. Um, in regards to your brand, so mine is fitness, humor, my workout of the day, and food, and some other things. Go ahead in your phone, um, in your notes section, if you don't have an iPhone, download a note app, and save those hashtags for yourself. You can have 30 hashtags in a comment. And you want to put those in the comment section of your photo, not the caption of your photo. Because what's going to happen is, say, five days go by and nobody's liking your photo. Nobody's commenting on your photo. You can go and delete that comment that where you had all your hashtags and then make a new comment with hashtags. And it's going to go to the top of Instagram feed. And you're going to be right back up in there where you were when you first posted it. So that is something that's really good to have and also so that you're not wasting like two minutes thinking of all the hashtags in your head you already got those good to go the same thing with brand folders so again mine's fitness humor food recipes motivation um you know and sharing either my before and after photos with people to motivate them or some people that i'm helping or, or coaches on my team and so on sunday nights this is when i do it you find a time that works for your schedule but just take like 30 minutes and go ahead and go to Google Images or Pinterest or search hashtags, however you find your photos for your brand, and just save all of those, and then start organizing those in folders, because you are incredibly busy. We are all busy. We all do not have time. <laughs> we all need to find ways that are going to help us save time, and doing this will save you time, because at some point in your day, you're going to have to go to the bathroom, <laughs> and you can bring your phone into the bathroom, and you can post this thing, you have your, your photo ready to go, you have your hashtags all ready to go, and the only thing that you're coming up with organically might be the caption if you haven't done that ahead of time. You might have to go to the water fountain. You can do this on the way to the water fountain. You can do this at lunch. It's gonna help you be a lot more consistent and help you get you know those three to five posts a day on, um, on your Instagram. Another big thing, a big tip that's gonna help you too is when you do a call to action on your Instagram page and you ask people to leave their email for more information, you should already have that content of what you're going to send them ready to go. You want to have this ready to go because they are on fire at that point. They see that you're about to host this group. They want to be with you. They like you. They want to join you. But if you say, I'm going to make this post and I'll wake up in the morning and do it. Um, they might be on fire more left their email on somebody else that's doing their challenge group or support group. So having that ready to go and just doing a little bit of stalking, just like going to their page and seeing that maybe they are a bride. So you can address that like, hey, bride to be, when's the big day? How's wedding planning going? And then a little blurb about your upcoming group. Or maybe you go and you see that they're a nurse. And so you can say, hey, I went to your page and saw that you're a nurse. That's so admirable. I really, really like that about you. What kind of department do you work in? And start building that relationship, but already having the content ready to go and setting aside like 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what your following is at that time. Um, 
And just having that content already ready to go is going to help you take advantage of people being on fire <laughs> and all pumped up to so come and join you. If you get anything from this message today, be you. You're going to hear that like a thousand times today. Um, the don'ts of Instagram. If y'all know these people, I apologize. <laughs> I know the girl at the bottom. She's my friend. But these other people kissing their cups, I don't know them. But the reason I don't want you kissing your Shakeology cup, you may love it. You may have just made the most awesome recipe of your life. It might have changed your life. You may have lost 100 pounds from drinking this thing. But you kissing it does nothing for the other person. They, a person is not going to love something until they try it themselves. So if I was to take a picture of me kissing these stickers for my thank you notes, people would be like, why is she kissing these stickers? Like, what's so good about these stickers or these waxy melts that make my house smell like Christmas? <laughs> people would be like, why is she kissing these waxy melts? Like, they don't know to love it until you give them a reason to love it. So some better ways to promote Shakeology through um, your social media. My dog is going to want to come join. I don't have a kid. I have a dog. <laughs> um, is that, you know, this girl, Mama Bear Fitness, she's awesome. Um, she showed how easy it was to make Shakeology when she was at Disney World, made a 15-second video of her making it. Um, this other girl, The Fit Difference, she showed um, that um, Shakeology helped her able to lose um, weight and fit into these jeans that she bought. Like, that's a huge way to promote um, Shakeology. Another big don't, don't be spammy. Don't just develop one little message and then send it to everybody. You might get some super vulnerable people because I was vulnerable. And I responded to this and I joined this guy's group on Facebook. But then I got in there and I'm like, what the hell? Like, I don't do no P90X. I don't do insanity. Does he know how much I weigh? Does he know what size I am? Does he know that I cannot jump? Like, hello, <laughs> what is this guy doing? Um, you know, like, that is not okay. And he's bragging about himself. Like, congratulations for being certified. But you need to get to know me. You need to get to know what my goals are um, before you put me in this group to even know if that would benefit me because I got in that group and it did not benefit me. I decided to, to switch coaches and join with somebody else because I didn't know what this guy was doing. And if he knew me now, he would still know that I don't do those type of programs. So don't be that spammy person. Um, another thing that's awesome with social media is that they have all these fun photo apps. They are so fun. And before you know it, an hour has gone by and you are still playing in this dang app trying to find one more little sticker or overlay or play with some more fonts because you just can't decide on a font or what color it should be or if it should be outlined or bubbles or whatever. And you know what? That is clean. <laughs> it is not clean. It, people are just going to look at this and be like, damn, Beachbody is expensive. Like, that's what they're going to say to that post, or they're going to look at this other one and be like, all oh, these people look, like, really fit, and I need to lose, like, 50 more pounds. Like, oh, and I don't want to do that. Or a green drink. Are they going to make me drink green stuff? Like, gross. Like, they don't know that. So don't go crazy and putting this much cleaner. The cleaner, the better, the simpler, the better. This picture was just my groceries. <laughs> I talked about how eating healthy is really hard and that, you know, I used to do it alone. I didn't have anybody in my family that was doing it with me at the time. And I said, I don't want you to be alone and I want to teach you how to eat healthy. And that was much better. 87 comments. People leaving their emails talking to me, want to come eat healthy with me. Just because of that. That other photo got like zero people up their comments. Zero. Not good. But I started um, my journey with Weight Watchers, and so I keep that in my audience. So if y'all go and follow me now, you will see that my stuff has Weight Watcher points. I show people that you can combine these two, that you don't have to choose to just do Weight Watchers or just do the 21-day fix or whatever. Like You can combine them. They work really well together. Um, if you need a resource, I made a YouTube video about it. You can send it to whoever. Shakeology is only three Weight Watcher points. That is huge for the Weight Watcher community to have something that is so nutritious and filling. And you can make takes like an Almond Joy or a Snickers and it's only three points. Huge. So, um, you know, I, sh I told people that I want to help them learn how to do this. And again, 64 comments. Like that was really good post for me. Um, big don't is don't copy and paste other coaches. 
just because they're a top coach, that is awesome. And that is great. But they are not you. That is not your voice. I love how like Lindsay and Melanie present stuff. And I loved it so much that I went to her page and I copied and pasted everything that Lindsay had for that, that, you know, the spring summer sale. Cause I became a coach, like Blair said in May. And then I joined and they had this summer sale a couple months later. And I was like, I don't know what to do. Let me go see what Lindsay did. And so I copied and pasted it. And I don't talk like that. I don't say use words like thrift Queens. I admit I shop at Goodwill and I admit that I like my target just like the next girl, but I don't use words like that. And so this did nothing for me, um, for getting people to engage and get excited about a sale. Like, and why is it a picture of a beach? Is the beach on sale? Like that was just bad. <laughs> that was just bad. Okay. Bad. Um, so we'll go on to the do's of Instagram. I just got like mascara in my eyeball. So sorry if I keep blinking weird for the next couple of minutes, show them that you're human. Um, uh, just because you have the word coach next to your name or you identify yourself as a virtual health and fitness coach doesn't mean that like you aren't going to be tempted by junk food. You need to show them that you are human. I found a tiara in my friend's car and I decided to wear it on Bourbon Street and go get myself some fruity drinks and have a girl's night. You got to show these people that, <laughs> that you're human, that, you know, you're not just this like fitness, fitness expert or nutrition, 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 but that like you like to have fun and you like, you know, chips ahoys and goodies and all that kind of stuff. Something that I do um, in all my challenge groups that Saturday before we start is I have everybody go around their house and put a, in a box or a bag, like all the junk food, they either go donate it at a food bank, bring it to church, bring it to their community work thing. Or like me, I don't have any of that stuff around me that takes stuff like that. So I just throw it away because I don't want the temptation. Um, another good way to interact with your, your followers is to offer some kind of free advice. There's a lot of ways that you can do this. You can do this through a live Q and A session. You can do this with hey, I'm about to make a YouTube video, or hey, I need some ideas for my next Periscope, and just ask them, because they are going to be so excited that you're doing something for them, and they're going to want to, they'll go follow you on a new platform, so you got a loyal follower wherever you are, because you're taking the time to be engaged with them, and to get to know them. A super easy way to offer free advice is to just make a recipe. I did that literally like an hour ago, I went to Team Beach Body, clicked on the recipe, saw they had peppermint mocha, went and made one and posted a picture of it and gave some free advice. Um, and it tells you like the 21 day fix stuff. So you can put that in there for free and you don't have to like go and try and figure it out yourself. Um, you got to share your experience. So you can't just have a pretty picture of autumn and all this stuff that comes in the challenge pack you know, or Shaleen with her awesome body, like you can't just do that and expect people to want and understand what, what the 21 day fix is like. You have to show them, you need to show them, you know, what your refrigerator looks like. What does breakfast look like? Cause to me, before I did any of this and I was like clean eating, I thought I was going to have to like drink liquid kale for breakfast. Like that's what I thought. But then I looked at the meal plan. I was like waffles, like Homegirl can eat waffles. I can, I can handle that. Um, you know, show them what the workouts look like, but show them you doing it. Don't just rely on sending them that video of the 21 day fix. Be like, Oh, look, like here's me. I just did this workout. Check me out. You know, I don't have the perfect form. I might be doing what cat's doing in the modifier, but Hey, like I'm doing it. I got to show them what you're doing. Um, got to post with purpose. We don't want those crazy photos with all those words and crazy texts that have no purpose at all. We don't want you kissing your Shakeology cup or your bag. Um, so you got to think about that market. Who is your market? You got to, um, as Christine Dwyer said, you got to lay in bed with them. You got to think about what they worry about, what they stress about, and then talk to that person because that is your market. So for me, I talked about what it was like to go into my closet and the tears are filling up in my eyes because nothing fits. My, my flowy shirts aren't flowy. My, my leggings or my yoga pants, they, they are not 
fitting and those things are stretchy. And I talked about that because so many other people can relate to that. And I told him that, hey, I want to start fitting back into my regular clothes because I have this whole wardrobe and I want to get back into that. And because I did that, you know, like people left their email because they could relate to that. It took a lot of guts to talk about that. But me being brave for a couple of seconds to hit the post button can help 30 people or 200 something people that liked it. Like that's worth it. That's selfish not to, to share. You got to be honest. Um, I see some people say that fiber sweep tastes like tang, like your childhood. Mm, I don't know what kind you got, but that is not right. <laughs> um, when I tasted it, it tasted like liquid quicksand. It was not my best experience. I had awesome results with the three-day refresh, but it did not taste like Tang by any means. I was really angry because I thought it was going to taste like Tang. So when I went to go drink it, I was like, no, this is not the case. So I, I tell people that. So ahead of time, when they get their refresh kits in the mail, they know, okay, maybe said this fiber sweep is going to be hard, but you know, like I want to lose five pounds like she did. So like, I'm just going to do it. And I'll post on my refresh groups, like today's challenge, post your video of you drinking fiber sweep. And we laugh about it. Like we laugh about it because it is so funny to see it gelatize in your mouth and all these other people's mouth because it's gross. But you talk about that and it helps, you know, build trust. So that way, you know, the next time that they see something from you or that you recommend something for them, that they have a reason to trust you. I, you know, was 227 pounds when I started my journey before um, my, my honeymoon to that douchebag. I um, weighed 158. But then I found love again. I did, I did, I did. We, I rekindled the flame with my high school sweetheart and we're engaged and getting married soon. Um, but I gained happy weight. Like, I did my workouts, but I ate what I wanted. I wasn't tracking. Like, we would do so good Monday through Wednesday. And then Thursday, they're like, we do not want chicken. Let's order pizza. Let's put on Netflix. And I just talked about that. I was honest about it because that all the time people fall off the wagon I fell off the wagon so you gotta keep going you gotta share your story um, this is gonna make you have to be brave you're gonna have to put on those big girl and big boy panties and just do it and it's gonna be like your heart's fluttering and oh my god I don't know what to do you just gotta post it um, for me part of my story is going to the doctor and getting told that I was at risk for infertility, that I wasn't going to be able to carry a baby. And what really sucked was that I was constantly getting mistaken for being pregnant. Like I would go to a restaurant and a man would get up from, he wanted me to sit down because he thought I was pregnant. Or I would go to my new class the first day and the professor would ask like, oh, when are you due? You know, I want to make sure, you know, read the syllabus and see how it's going to go. And it's like, how do you tell your professor that you're not pregnant? <laughs> like, should I just take maternity leave from class? Cause that sort of sounds like fun, but I don't know what to do. You know, or the cashier would sit there and ask, you know, Oh, Hey, like I crave chocolate too. Like, do you know the gender yet? Like I was getting mistaken for being pregnant while at the same time I was getting told that I might not ever be able to carry a child. This relates with so many other women because so many other women have had that same doctor's appointment, but it took me a lot of guts to get on in front of, you know, 27,000 people and tell them that. But a lot of people liked that photo and it helped them and it built relationships with them. So I did it. You also are not just a beach body coach. I don't know if y'all knew that, <laughs> but you are not just a beach body coach. You might've signed up a couple days ago and, you know, decide that you need a, a social media makeover and everything's beach body, but you are still yourself. For me, I'm still somebody that does research. I go all over the nation and present my research. I'm a doctor. I play the guitar. I still do all these things. I'm still me, but I'm also a beach body coach. That is just one part of myself. So still be you, still share those parts of you. I posted that I became, you know, a doctor and 852 people like that. I could have not share that. But I could have because when you share that you do all these things and then when you talk about to someone about being a coach and they're like, I don't have time. Look what all I can do and still be a coach. <laughs> I can still do all this and so can you. Like, make time. I'll show you how to make time. I'll show you what a power hour is. I'll show you how to do that. Um, 
probably the one thing that y'all want to know is how to get a bunch of followers really quick. Like, how do I do that? I want to grow my following. Um, I have lots of tips for growing your following really quick, but also just as many cautions. Um, shout outs for shout outs are going to get you a bunch of new followers really quickly. But make sure if you're going to do that, that you would actually follow that person. You don't want to just see that somebody has 30,000 followers and they ask to do a shout out with you and then you go to their profile and see they're like posting about like drugs and what they stole or posting you know a girl's butt like what who are you recommending them for to follow and like who's gonna follow you because that person recommended you like make sure that you would now I'm like sniffling um <laughs> that you would actually follow that person um it is up to you if you want to give a shout out to your competition not in regards to like shouting out another coach, I will shout out anybody um, that's another coach, you know, their results. I'm talking about like Avacare, Herbalife, Plexus, all our, 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 uh, all of our competitors. Um, that is up to you if you want to do that. But don't be snobby and be like, oh, she only has a couple of followers. I'm not going to do this with her. Because let me tell you a story about my friend Allie. Allie had four followers. This is a real story. Allie had four followers and she reached out to me and asked if I would give her a shout out. She was just starting a fitness page. And I said, Oh, of course I'll give you a follower. And you know what? She, I love that attitude because it showed that one, she wasn't scared. She knew that I could have easily said no. I mean that she was a go getter and that of course I want that girl to be a coach. I want somebody that has those kind of qualities. And she was my first ever coach to go enrolled, but she only had four followers. So don't be picky because you don't know who that person's going to be because I gave somebody a shout out that has 65,000 followers and they didn't want to talk to me. They didn't want to form me. They didn't want to build a relationship with me. They just want to do a shout out and that's fine, but they're not a coach. So another caution to think about, um, to get the shout outs for shout outs, you can use the direct message with Instagram or use another app called kick. It's like a free text messaging app. When you do this, um, you can, I have some examples of how I ask people to do shout outs. Um, I tell people how many followers I have so that way they don't have to like go search my username. They can just know, um, decide on a, a timeline. So, Hey, I'm going to post in an hour. Does that work for you? Decide how long you're going to leave it up for. Um, some people leave it up permanently. Some people will say, I'll leave it up for two hours. Just agree on all of that so that you're being fair. But you also want to be super, super cautious about what you post next because you don't want to be like, oh my gosh, I got 30 new followers today. Like it's perfect time to promote my new group because they're not following you because you're a Beachbody coach. They're following you because somebody shared your story. Somebody showed your before and after picture and that motivated them. So they just want to continue to be motivated for a little while. So if you're doing Transformation Tuesday shout outs or Woman Crush Women whatever, or Man Crush Mondays, shout outs to people, whatever you're doing, be super, super cautious after because that is not why they just started following you and you will lose those followers just as quick as you gained them. Another way is asking for tags. So a big um, thing about mine is, is fitness humor. So I wish I lost weight like I lost bobby pins. Who doesn't? <laughs> to tag somebody in that so that got 57 comments tag somebody who inspires you that got 91 comments and that's bringing people to your page for free just by asking them to tag other people in it hashtags um make sure that you when you think about what hashtags to you think about ones that you would search the type of followers you want to attract make sure you're using like the second most popular not always just the popular so like fitness and health and food like those have millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of hashtag views, but doing something like fit sisterhood or faith and fitness or things like that, that are a little bit different or like body positivity. Um, they're not going to have as much. So when people search those, you're going to more likely be at the top of the feed. And we already talked about the other stuff. You are going to lose followers because you are a beach body coach. Cause you are at some point going to post the word Shakeology you are at some point going to post that you have a challenge group that you do 21 day fix or pio or insanity or p90x and they just don't want to see it and you're going to lose followers and 
you can see from this, these are my stats. Like I lost 366 followers. Oh damn, that's a big number. But look how much more new followers I have. That's what I care about. Cause you just gotta be, you know, put a little frozen in it and let, let it go. Like you are going to lose people and you could get all those apps that notify you and you could be emotionally eaten alive because I don't know why Fit Bride 2015 June unfollowed you. Or you could just not care and just be like, oh, this person followed me today, you know, and focus on that. Um, these are my must-have apps. Again, I could send you all these. Don't worry about um, taking the time to write them all down. Insta size will take any photo that you have and put it into Instagram size. Um, Photofy, buy it so that you don't have the watermark. Pick Play Post is going to make you do your videos. Pick Stitch is going to give you the cool collages. Um, and the other ones are just cool. Um, know your stats. This is a cool website you can go to that'll show you your Instagram stats for your following um, when people are most engaging with you so you can time your post properly. I'm like, you need to drink some water. Um, get rid of your fear. Um, the more vulnerable you are, the more relatable you are. Just keep that in your head over and over again when you're super, super scared to post something, just think about like, it's going to inspire somebody. It's going to inspire somebody. And just say that to yourself over and over and over again, because you got to get rid of the fear. I know it's so much easier said than done. Um, critique or homework. Okay. Your homework. Um, get a critique buddy. Ask um, somebody within your, your coach family or a good girlfriend of yours, whoever you want to be like, Hey, will you go to my page and like, tell me what you think my brand is. And if they don't give you the answer that you want, you need to start doing some new stuff. Or if it is, good for you. That's awesome. If you're scared to post something, ask us for advice. You can send it to me like, Mandy, I'm scared to post this. And I will kick you in the butt and tell you to post it. Whatever you need, I'll do it. Um, each quarter, I'm starting to do something called an Instagram boot camp. It's a cool little um, two week little boot camp where I teach you some tips and um, mentor you with your Instagram page. The next time it's going to be available is in March. Um, and check your stats. Here's some cool resources that I use for this presentation and when I need some stuff. And that's it. And so I'm going to stop sharing this. So Y'all have questions. Okay, I think it's, I stopped. Okay, so yay! <laughs> Holy smokes. That was so good. And I was getting messages from people. They were like, she's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I was like, yes, yeah, she is. Um, <laughs> I, I'm so thankful that you're going to open up and let us ask questions because I know I had a quick question actually for you. Um, is how you move over everyone over to either Facebook or email is that you're doing it through asking them drop your email below and I'll email you or are you also um, privately messaging people and moving them over from private messages over um, I primarily do email so leave your email below um, and then one of the questions that I ask them in the email is if they would prefer to text um, that's something new that I've done because that's, it's helping me a lot instead of having to do back and forth, back and forth emails, just getting that phone number and being able to text them and, you know, scrolling through my text messages is a good way for me to know who I need to follow up with um, versus like email where it's like, where do I go? Who do I follow up with? Um, sometimes it is um, private message or direct message and just saying like, Hey, you know, like I really, really liked your comment that you left on my photo. It sounds like you, would really benefit from being part of a support group right now is that something that interests you and then talk to them through direct message and then get over but I try to immediately have some form of communication outside of Instagram um, just because you don't it doesn't do a good job of notifying you um, and once you start growing you're following like I don't see all the comments that people leave um, and so sometimes I might you know do a shout out for shout out with somebody and I get say a hundred new followers that day and then somebody might have went through my news feed and commented on an old old post that they want to join a support group from way back when um if I'm not like 
bam, bam, bam on top of it and like hurry up and like screenshot that email because it's like, I'm not going to know to go look at that. Like I know to look at my recent posts that have emails, but if you get that <laughs> in your comment and you realize it's on an old photo, take a screenshot of it so that you remember and you can go back and look at what photo that they were leaving that on. I hope that helped. <laughs> no, that did that really help. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did anybody have any questions? Don't be shy. Can you hear me? Who is trying to talk? Yeah. There. Um, I have a quick question for sure. Uh, Jessica, can you hear me or no? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Really I have shoddy internet, so I don't okay. know. <laughs> really um, quick question about shadows for shadows. Like, how do you do that? Like, when somebody, when you message somebody asking, hey, do you want to do a shadow for shadow? So, what is kind of like an example you would post on your wall for a shadow? Um, so, a lot of times people will just ask you to send your photo in your bio. And so, you just have like a little summary of like your story and um, like something about yourself. So like, hey, follow Mandy Limer, you know, here's a blurb of her story. And I've already written that out. So then all that I'm doing is just copying and pasting what they told me about themselves. Um, sometimes if I know the person and we've been following each other back and forth, then I will make it organic and I will come up with it and being like, Hey y'all, please go follow like my soul sister, you know, um, my soul sister Valerie, like she's doing awesome. She's on, you know, like her second round of the 21 day fix, like go follow her to see, you know, her finish these next three weeks before her wedding. You know, like if I know the person, but most of the times when I'm doing shout outs for shout outs with somebody, um, it's, it's strangers. I don't know them. I don't know their journeys. And so, um, I could send a screenshot of what that, that looks like. Um, and Blair can share that in y'all's group. Um, so you can understand that better because it's just like, it's inside an app and just basically sending somebody your story, um, with your photo and then them sharing that. So, um, I post them on Tuesday. So if like next Tuesday you look out, for what I'm doing, um, you'll, you'll see that in there. Mandy, so Jamie asks in the, the Zoom chat, you are okay. so busy. I would love to see your power hour and how you do it and balance since you are so busy. You are extremely organized. <laughs> okay, um, I used to have it like right here. Yeah, I can send that. Um, See y'all. I had it like this is really it's really really just I don't even know how to explain it. Um I rely heavily, heavily on um Instagram to build my business. So I'm not like trying to bump up my like page, bump up my YouTube, bump up my Periscope. Um I, I dig deep into Instagram because that's my my platform of choice. I love talking to strangers more than I like talking to my friends because my friends are my friends and I'll get emotional if they say no to me, but a stranger, it's like, I don't know you. <laughs> like, I'm not worried if you say no or you don't respond. So I really like the Instagram community because, you know, there's, there's strangers who are, you know, even more supportive than I find on, on Facebook. Um, that's my personal experience, but yeah, I'd be more than willing to, to share, um, what that looks like for me, but it's pretty much the, um, I don't know if it's Anita Myron's or, whatever that top coach that posted the power hour for what she, she does the other day on national wake up call. That's um, the format that I really tend to follow. But instead of like the Facebook messages, like I'm going to be doing my emails. So I could send what that, that looks like. Um, I hope that made sense. Sometimes I think I just ramble. Sorry. <laughs> she says yes. Okay. That would be great. Yeah. To see examples. Cause it's always nice. I mean, I think we all have, you know, everybody says power hour, but I do like to see how different teams take it and twist it to make it their own to what they're doing. And clearly, um, I, Instagram is something that you've developed really well. And like you were saying, that's where you get the majority of your 
customer and, and also your coaches are from Instagram. Yeah. My only, um, coaches from like Facebook are my mom and dad. (laughs) (laughs) Um, everybody else is through, is through, um, through Instagram. So my whole personally sponsored team is, um, you know, moving from like a contact on Instagram to a challenger, to a coach. Um, and so in the other Instagram presentations, I didn't know how much time I would, um, have. I like, I include examples of what that process looks like from, so if y'all want the, the PowerPoint presentation, it'll, the other one that I saved, <laughs> they like five times. um, you can see what that process looks like for me and how I talk to people. But yeah, I do run my challenge group still through, um, Facebook. I saw that question. Um, I don't, we will as a group come up with an Instagram hashtag um, because some people won't um, have Facebook and they don't want to create the fitness Facebook profile just for group participation. But I think that new app that Beachbody is doing um, will really help with the Instagram people that don't want to do Facebook and being able to do it through there. But yeah, I still do um, my Facebook groups just like everybody else does. Um, you know, just, I might, of course we all run them a little different. (laughs) I always like to have something else besides just a program. So like, if you go to my Instagram right now, you would see that I'm about to start hosting a a book and fit club. So we, we read a book while we host um, a fitness group. So it's a book about emotional eating because that is my target audience. A big struggle of theirs is emotional eating. So we read a book that helps with that. Um, If they buy a challenge pack, I send them the book for free. So, oh my gosh, I love that. That's such a great idea. I know that that, I mean, so many people you could even, when you're thinking about that, and I like that you said you did it with your target market. So you guys can think about the things that you're overcoming maybe with your own personal development and pull that together. Like I know for me, a huge core of my target is postpartum depression. That's what I battled. And that's what actually led me to coaching was I was struggling horribly with postpartum depression and I needed to lose the baby weight again. And it was the personal development and the coaching and the program coming all together is what really healed me um, emotionally. So I love that you mentioned that because now I'm like, already my brain is now going. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think like calling it that, like, let's all read this book together (laughs) while we do the challenge group. (laughs) Yeah. And the same thing, like I'll do, um, like clearly, um, you just got your first two coaches. I'm guessing that's what it says or customers. I don't know what that says. Um, but yeah, another thing that I did, um, because like, I'm not going to act like I'm like this, like super Christian put together woman. Like I like 50 shades of gray, just like the next girl would, um, you know, but like, I do host like what's also called, like, I'll call them virtual girls night groups. And so like the gray's anatomy, the scandal, And so on Thursday nights, like we'll all get on and we'll all eat the same food and we'll just like vent about the show. So it's like, you know, like my age group, you know, like late twenties, that's what we do. Like (laughs) we power watch shows on Netflix and Hulu. So why not make that part of your group too, to get to know your market, you know? So, um, where you can agree, like no spoilers till Monday, whatever y'all want to, you know, agree on as a group. That's, um, what I like to do because I don't, like it just to be like you have people that get in your groups I'm sure all the time that are so scared to post but if you have something else that they can talk about they'll post so they'll talk about what they liked about Grey's Anatomy but they might not post their meal because they're scared that it's not pretty enough or presentable enough or they don't want to post their sweaty selfie because they don't like how they look right now in their workout clothes and that's totally understandable but they'll post their favorite quote from the book so and provides other ways for them to engage that's less focused on health and fitness, even though that's our mission, but it's providing another way for them to engage in another market to tap into. So that's, it's a fun thing. So yeah, Vanessa wrote, I'm brand new, just got my first 21 day fix in the mail tonight. Woohoo. Woo-hoo. I awesome. have Facebook, not sure not sure that this is my best first avenue. How long should I wait to try Instagram? Um, don't wait, just try. <laughs> I mean, I just, I'll, I honestly, um, 
love it. I don't think there's like a wrong time to join Instagram. Like if y'all were to go and look at like what my first photos were, like it's these sweaty, not sweaty selfies. They're just like selfies of me, like playing with makeup. (laughs) They're like, Oh, that was my first job as a teacher. Like they're random. Um, you know, so like I started posting and then like I posted my first before and after photo on Facebook and I got like some negative feedback. And so I was like, Oh crap. Like I need a community of support. Like let me try Instagram and immediately got likes and comments from strangers. And I was like, hell yeah. Like I'm going to do this market. Um, you know, for just getting your 21 day fix and just starting as a coach, you can easily just share what you're doing. You can tell people, um, that's what I did when I became a coach is I, um, joined with a challenge pack, um, told my coach, I just want to do it for the discount and then craziness happened. And so I needed to learn, um, how to make money with this thing. So I told people like, Hey y'all, like I'm doing this thing called the 21 day fix. I do not want to do it alone. So like who wants to, to do it with me? Um, and I had seven people that decided they wanted to do it with me. And I like told my coach, Jeff Honorado, I was like, okay, like here's these people. He's like, no, ma'am. Like <laughs> those people are going to be yours. Like send them to your website. It's like, I don't know how to coach. I don't want to do this. He's like, well, put them in the group. Like it's okay. Um, you know, but like my, my second day, um, you know, that I dug into the business I hit success club, you know, because I just was like, who wants to do this with me? You know, and people decide they want to do it with me. I can't say that that's going to happen <laughs> for y'all just because you make a post like that. I had, um, before I became a coach, I had about 3000 followers. So it was my first time actually endorsing something besides Weight Watchers. Um, and Weight Watchers doesn't give you any type of incentive <laughs> for getting people to enroll. So it was the first time that, you know, I could actually make money for, um, you know, promoting something. So there was some trust built in there, but for just starting out, like, why not just create one and share your journey, you know, and you could, um, there's an app called If This, They and That. Um, you can go to that website because um, it's not like an app on like your phone, they might have one. I don't know. I use the website. If this, then that. And you, what you can do is you can set up to if I post on my Instagram, post to my Facebook, or vice versa. Like if you're building your Instagram account and you just don't know what to do, you could say if I post to Facebook, post to Instagram. Um, I don't have any idea how to use Twitter. It is polar opposite than Instagram um, because they want you to have hashtags in your caption, but that doesn't mean that everything I post on Instagram doesn't go to Twitter. Um, it highly, <laughs> it does. Cause that's what I, I use for that. It's the same thing with my Facebook like page. I don't, um, really know how to use that and benefit that the most, but anything I post on Instagram is going to go to my Facebook like page using that app. So you, I would say that just try it. I'll help you. <laughs> I'll help you build your following. And now that you know all these tips from the get go, you know what definitely not to do. <laughs> This is true. And I highly recommend that you guys all go and follow Mandy and see what she's doing. Um, Cause she is, when you go and you look at her site, it is very organic and it's just her and her journey. It's not a whole bunch of like, you know, beach body corporate f- f- uh, pictures. Um, I think that that's probably the one thing I see is the biggest mistake that new coaches make when they start their Instagram accounts. And I'm guilty of this as well is that I was just like kissing my Shakeology bottle and photos of my Shakeology bag and pictures of me holding my DVD. And like, (laughs) it was all about the product. Um, It was not about me and my journey and how I was using, how the products were helping me with my journey. And that, and Mandy's very good at that. Like when you look at hers, it's all her and her personality and her story and her journey. And you connect with her, um, not the product which is exactly what we all should be doing is you talked about that. That was like the first thing you talked about was know your brand, talk about your brand. Um, and that's, is it's so, so important. Well, I don't want to keep you any longer. I know we've had you on for almost an hour. Um, so, so, um, 
how do you want to do this, Mandy? If any, because the last thing I want to do is typically when I have like a guest speaker, if they're within our team somewhere, I redirect them to a team page and I say, you can post in this team page and then everybody gets to, you know, get the, um, the value of the answer from you. But since you're not within our, you're within our big mama team, but you're not with <laughs> Cause you are a platinum presenter, <laughs> but you're not like, I don't even know where we are. We're like distant cousins yeah. <laughs> from you. Um, I, and I don't want that your inbox to be totally over inundated either, but it's up to you how you would prefer if, if anybody did have any bonus questions. Um, I know you're going to send us some of this content and I'll go ahead. Like you guys, I will post everything in the team page um, that she did say she was going to give. Yeah. Uh -oh. how I move everybody um and then if people have questions like I don't mind just a Facebook message um you know like just know that like I know March seems like it's really far away but I promise like it'll be here really soon and y'all can y'all join the boot camp um you know, it's super affordable. <laughs> so, um, things like that to look forward to, um, you know, because I, I'm not like somebody like Shalene Johnson where I can charge, you know, a hundred dollars. I don't have that credibility yet. Um, you know, but I, I don't mind, um, helping y'all at all. I, I'm a firm, firm believer in sharing the details with anybody. So just, um, ask, and I'm probably going to say, yes, I'm not <laughs> going to be like, mm, no, like, you suck. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> like I'm going to share it with y'all because, um, that's what I, I like to do. And, you know, we're all, we all have the same mission. Um, we all are with the same company and the only thing that's really gonna help individualize you from the next person is you and your story. So, you know, I can't help you build your story. That's yours. It's just, I can teach you the right ways to share it. I just can't make your story for you. So, um, if I can help you, share that and give you some bravery and, you know, a little kick in the booty. I will gladly do that <laughs> um, for y'all. You know, if you just want some like verification of like, Hey, critique this real quick. Like, I don't mind. I do that um, all the time for people because I understand like it's a new platform and in return, there's probably going to be something that you're really, really good at that I'm not. And so when I come ask for help, you'll help me too. <laughs> That's how I think about it. It's like building your future karma. So, um, just ask me, I'll send, um, like the PowerPoint and it's going to have to be through email just because it's a larger file. So, um, I don't know if you use MailChimp or whatever to, um, talk to your, your whole downline. Um, but whatever you can just send that to them, forward it to them or ask people in your team page who wants that and then forward it to them for the PowerPoint. And, um, I can send you like the power hour thing in a Facebook message sure. and you can share that um, in the files of your team page. And then for one-on-one, -on -one, just shoot me a message, become um, my Facebook friend or Instagram buddy, whatever I'm here. <laughs> so just let me know. Thank you so much. I'm super excited to get this video uploaded because I know we had a huge chunk of our team that really wanted to be on and unfortunately they couldn't. Um, so I was like, don't worry, I am recording all this amazingness. And I'm so glad we got the Zoom thing figured out because I was like, oh, she's going to have slides. Oh, she's going to have so much content. I got like literally got super excited. <laughs> like you just like made my life. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you for hopping on, Mandy. Thank you for sharing your time and all of this amazing content. Um, it was amazing. I'm super excited to rock out Instagram. All of you guys should too, okay? All right, you guys have a good rest of your night.